Hallelujah. You are welcome to the online morning devotion in Jesus' mighty name. In Isaiah 65, verse 24, And it shall come to pass that before the call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. You appreciate God Almighty for giving us answers to prayers as we come before Him this morning. Shall we raise our voice and appreciate God Almighty? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your word declares, Call unto me, I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, we thank you for speedy answers to prayers as we come before you this hour. We celebrate you, mighty God, for your faithfulness, your message, your love over us, over the online morning devotion, our families committed. Lord, we say thank you. Be thy exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' name. I appreciate God once more. He's faithful. Amen. You are good, you are 
be your name forever in Jesus mighty name. Please be seated. He said they began to publish in Decapolis what great things God has done and all men marveled. Begin to spread the information. Begin to invite someone for the online morning devotion. Look on the screen. Share the link on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram and on X. And as you do that, I say God bless you in Jesus mighty name. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Please pay attention to some of the numerous testimonies from the online morning devotion and same God will touch your life today in Jesus' name. Testimony from Florence, Adi, Nigeria. I appreciate God, our Heavenly Father, the giver of good news for his faithfulness to my life and in all ramifications of my life. My business is waxing greater. I had been asking God for a particular long overdue entitlement at my job. On the 26th of February 2024, during the online morning devotion, God's servant made a declaration for the week from Psalm 138 and verse 8 that the Lord will perfect all that concerns us. And before the end of that week, we will hear good news. Instead of just praying, I thanked God for perfection as instructed. On Thursday, February 29th, God showed up and my long-awaited testimony was released after nine months of waiting. Hallelujah. Testimony from Ifoma, Texas, United States of America.
I am grateful to God for the impact of Salvation Ministries and the online money devotion in my life. I moved from a challenging 2023 with business stagnation and personal trials to experiencing profound turnarounds. Joining the online money devotion led to business opportunities, financial blessings, and overcoming severe family setbacks like eviction and financial strains. Miraculous provisions and favor including a smooth U.S. migration process and healing from abdominal pain, rejections turned into acceptance from international organizations, marking a shift from hardship to divine favor and opportunities. Lastly, we celebrated 16 years of marriage, showcasing a transformation from despair to a state of grace and favor. Glory be to God. Testimony from Visa success harry nigeria i give god all the glory for healing me of causes pain that i had for over two months i visited the doctors for several treatments but the pain still persisted however during the online morning devotion on the 28th of february 2024 while god's servant ministered he said we should rebuke everything we do not want I obeyed in faith, and now I am confirmed healed. Testimony from Uzebu Elizabeth, Nigeria. I thank God for his healing upon my life. In 2016, I noticed that each time I slept and woke up, one side of my body would feel paralyzed, and I had to take medication to stop it. Then in December 2023 and January 2024, it began to reoccur, and this time in full force. During the online morning devotion, I called on God, reminding him of my kingdom service and that I did not have the budget to treat this. To my amazement, in February, I noticed that I stopped experiencing it anymore. God also healed me of other infirmities, and I say thank you, Jesus. Same God will touch your life today. Shall we all rise and give him all the glory? Father, we thank you in Jesus' most wonderful name. This session we're taking the devotion prayers, praying for the body of Christ. In Psalm 118, verse 23, said, This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. You will thank God for opening gates of nations for the acceptance of the gospel of Jesus and compelling abiding souls into the faith globally. Lift your voice heaven, and appreciate God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank for opening the gates of nations for the acceptance of the gospel of Jesus and compelling multitude of souls into the faith. Lord, we thank we magnify your name and thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Lord, we thank for opening the gates of nations. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name. We exalt you, King of Kings, for compelling abiding multitude of souls into the faith globally. Lord, we thank you by my mouth. Have I commanded Dead, but my spirit of I gather death. Lord, we thank for compelling abiding multitude of souls into the faith. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Be thou exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' most wonderful name. In Exodus 32, verse 10. Now therefore let me alone that my works may what may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them. You will decree the destruction of any agent of hell, plan no sponsoring attacks against the growth and peace of the body of Christ globally. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will build my church, and the case of hell shall not prevail against hell. We decree the destruction of any agent of the devil, any agent of hell, plan no sponsoring attacks against the body of Christ, against the growth, the peace, the body of Christ is a joy and expressing my words shall hold us, my rod shall wash us, and I will kill them with the sword. Lord, we decree the start destruction of any agent of the devil, anyone fighting the growth, fighting the peace of the body of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, no one poor from the case of shall prosper every attempt of yours to attack the body of Christ, to attack the peace, to attack the growth, shall joy when command the wars be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. See, I've said thee. Over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down. You will pray to pull down every barrier against the return and establishment of the multitude of souls God keeps bringing into the body of Christ. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ and shall say, Cast your cast your prepare the way, take up the stumbling blow out of the way of my people will pull down every barrier, resisting the return and establishment of souls. God keeps adding to the body of Christ globally in the name of Jesus Christ. I will plan them upon the land and no more shall they be pulled down every force of hell, every barrier that wants to resist the return, the establishment will come against such forces, will come against such barriers in the name of Jesus Christ, I will cause the Akumachiko to take to Tamo and bear fruit upon every force of hell that is resisting the establishment of the souls. God keeps adding to the body of Christ. We command such barriers be destroyed. We command such forces be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall not stand. It shall call to pass every force of hell of barriers resisting the establishment of the souls. God keeps adding to the body of Christ. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 37. We see that yet 18. And they come to pass when the Lord commanded not. Micah chapter 7, verse 11. In the day shall the decree be far removed. Use the blood of Jesus Christ to blot out laws, policies, resisting the promotion of the gospel of Christ in any part of the world. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, blotting out the hundred of witnesses that was against us, which was contrary to us. Jesus took it out of the way. Nailed his cross. We blot out all laws, all policies, resisting the promotion of the gospel of Jesus in any part of the world. We command it be blotted out in the name of Jesus Christ. The last of the world, his arrow shall go forth as a lightning will release the weapon of the blow to blot out every law, every policy, command Mental laws, societal laws, in the name of Jesus Christ, that wants to resist the promotion of the gospel, the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of all laws, in the name of Jesus Christ, wipe them off, in the name of Jesus. Zechariah chapter 7 verse 12, Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law, and the words which the Lord of hosts has said, in Ezekiel 10, 6, verse 26, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Use the name of Jesus to melt every stony heart. Satan has planted in first timers, first time worshippers, resistant for receiving the word, meant for their turn around and counter in the faith. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will take away every stony heart and will give unto you the heart of flesh. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you melt every stony heart that the devil has planted in our first timers, in our newcomers, resist them from receiving the word meant for them, the grafted word of God that is meant for the turn around, that is meant for the transformation, that is meant for the deliverance. Lord, we pray that you take away every stony heart, give it to our first us and newcomers and out of flesh cause to receive the war in the name of Jesus Christ that is made for the deliverance that is made for the total to the wrath that is made for the encounters in the name of Jesus Christ and the law open the eyes of Lydia that she may attend unto the things that you have spoken upon Lord we ask that you open the eyes of our first timers open the eyes of our newcomers to receive the crafted world made for the total deliverance made for the miracles made for the signs made for the word in the name of Jesus Christ, open their heart to accept the gospel of Jesus. Open their heart to accept the world for the total turn around in the name of Jesus. And finally, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the castle of the law that shall stand has got to restore its purpose for Nigeria and other nations of the world and take them out to the value of bloodshed and hardship. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we ask that you restore a purpose for Nigeria and other nations of the world. Take them out of the valley of bloodshed and hardship. Restore to us the joy of our salvation. Lord, we pray that you restore the purpose for our nation, Nigeria, and other nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, take them out of the valley of bloodshed and hardship. Because fallen shall no more be heard in our we see no destruction within our borders. Lord, we pray that you restore Nigeria, restore the purpose in the name of 
Jesus Christ, take her from the valley of bloodshed and ashes in the name of Jesus. I appreciate God is faithful. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. This session, we shall be praying for the ministers of the gospel and their families. In Psalm 91 and verse 10, it is written, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You will clear all plans of Satan to stir up death, accident, and tragedies in the lives, families, and loved ones of ministers of the gospel. Decree an atmosphere of life and peace for them. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Satan will take authority over you. Every position you have taken or intends to take to steer up death, accidents, tragedies, calamities, shame, sorrow, or anything called evil against the lives, families, and loved ones of the ministers of the gospel, Satan will give you no place. The blood of Jesus is a Against you, you are not permitted to attack their lives and their families and their general loved ones. For the rod of the wicked shall not rise upon the loss of the righteous. The Lord has delivered their souls from death, their eyes from tears, and their feet from falling. They shall not die, they shall live. There shall be no accident, no tragedy in the lives, families, and loved ones of the ministers of the gospel. The Lord of peace himself give them peace. Peace, always, by all means, throughout the season and beyond. In Jesus' name. Acts 26 and verse 22. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. Ask the Holy Spirit to help ministers of the gospel for uncommon speed and greater order of testimonies in their assignments, leading abiding souls into the faith. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, And the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and he outran Ahab. Holy Spirit will pray that your hand rest upon all the ministers of the gospel, granting them a common speed and greater order of testimonies in their assignment. Say, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Holy Spirit overshadow all the ministers of the gospel with your power for the massive harvest and establishment of souls and the faith throughout the season and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name praying for individuals and families connected to this prayer altar in Psalm 91 verse 10 it is written there shall no evil before thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling you will pray against all evil occurrences all sickness or death targeted against you and your family. Decree that you and your family will enjoy protection and sound health always. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, There shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Satan will cast you out, will subdue every position you have taken to stir up evil, sickness, untimely death, any issue of concern against our lives, against our families, everyone connected to us throughout the season and beyond. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Every force of evil, every force of death, every force of accident will bind you, will forbid you from our lives. We shall not see evil anymore for the Lord has taken away our judgment. The Lord has cast out our enemy. The King of Israel is in our midst. We shall not see evil anymore for the Lord will be unto our us a wall of fire Lord be a shield of defense run about us throughout the season and beyond in Jesus mighty name Matthew 2 verse 20 for they are dead which sought the young child's life. Exodus 1 verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. Declare God's judgment upon anyone planning to corrupt the destiny of any child connected to the online morning devotion through any means. Pray that they will excel and do exploits in life. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. 
in the name of Jesus, it is written, He that troubleth thee shall bear God's judgment. We declare the judgment of God upon anyone or any gang of whether witches or wizards, armed robbers, kidnappers, assassins, wicked ones, planning to attack or to corrupt the destiny of all the children connected to the online morning devotion. We come against you, Satan. We come against your works. Anyone you have entered, anyone you're planning to use to attack our children, we command them be exposed, be frustrated, and come under the wrath of God. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil out of heaven. The Lord shall thunder against them. Lord, let's thunder from heaven. Strike them down. We'll pray and declare that all our children, every child connected to the online morning devotion shall excel, shall be fruitful, shall do exploits. Our children will walk a city mighty. The seed of the righteous shall be mighty upon the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Therefore your gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in procession. Command the doors of divine breakthroughs to be opened. Affecting all aspects of your life and family as you engage in kingdom advancement activities. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ it is written. I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. In the name of Jesus, we command the doors of divine breakthroughs be open and remain open for us in our businesses, in our careers, in our academics, in all our legitimate endeavors. Lord, let the doors you have opened for us remain open. We command them to be open. The word said that if you obey and serve you, we shall spend our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure. Lord, as we go about promoting your kingdom, Lord, cause us to excel in life, cause us to enjoy abundant supplies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Exodus 19 verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. You will pray in the Holy Spirit, asking the help from the Holy Spirit to always obey divine instructions that will guarantee you and your family rest and all and supplies. Lift your voice, pray in the Spirit now in Jesus' name. Rosa terebo sandila vasi calabro savia saso que rema so calabache e rozo pra de ze que pra lo sa que ya la so cavia lo si da rabo se que reba zo e rusa la casira bo sara base e rosa rabro so co tere vada la prosira babare ro shaka yaba e rosenda la bro se que te que tere pro sara vasora base e rosa la prosica anda la bo fatia bo si cara bo se tere bo shara vate cora base e rusa rabo rin sada que yaba E rosara babale ko fete ke te ke te re babala bro shakala mazo taraba sekere e rusa pare soke arabobo de ke fandere babale ro sakada e rosi kala bro se ke te le ro sakala bobo re asa e ro fandere bo sakayaba e rusa kale bro se ke te re bo ra ka se de re babale ro sakayaba e ro santa la bo ka si taraba in jesus mighty name personal prayers numbers 14 verse 28 Say unto them, as truly as I live, say the Lord, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. At this point, you will present your petitions and supplications to God in faith. Pray in Jesus' mighty name.
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Isaiah 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning, you will speak to the day in line with God's word to bring favor, health, life, and all your desires to you. Raise your voice, command the day open in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command this day, Saturday, 9th of March, 2024, be open for our good. We command doors of divine favor, doors of health, doors of good news to be open to us. The lights are fall for us in pleasant places today. This day, whatever we do, we shall prosper. This day, we shall hear good news and advance on every side. In Jesus' name. Zechariah 9 verse 14. And the Lord shall be seen over them and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. Plead the blood of Jesus over the body of Christ, ministers of the gospel, you and your family for continuous peace and advancement. Raise your voice. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. Over the entire body of Christ. Over the ministers of the gospel. Over our lives and families. Blood of Jesus. Go ahead of us. Bring us peace and advancement. Lord of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift your voice, give God thanks and glory is worthy. In Jesus' mighty name. Please may be seated. I want to appreciate God for this privilege. I want to appreciate my father through whom this privilege came. Papa, thank you, sir. I want to appreciate mama. Thank you, ma. And everyone that is part of the online morning devotion today. Because you are hooked up. I decree you will go up in Jesus' mighty name. The word charge this morning is, where is your focus? Where is your focus? Where you focus determines your experience in life. Your focus determines your experience in life. In Matthew chapter 6, from verse 25 to 33, I'll read. It says, therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowl of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto a stature? And why take it thought for remains? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, Take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. 33, finally. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When you focus on self, when you focus on your needs, your wants, the Bible says they will continue. You keep running helter skelter, you keep struggling. He said the unbeliever, that is, that is their focus. They focus on their material things, they focus on their needs. He said, but that is not how we do as believers. That if we want God to bless us and meet our needs, our focus should be His kingdom. Seek first his kingdom. He said, all our needs, God knows what you need. In fact, the Bible says God is so mindful of us that he knows the number of hair on our head. And not one will come down without our father's knowledge. So God is so careful of us. To the point that angels, they are envious of us. He said, what is man that that are so mindful of him? So God is so careful of us. God is so thoughtful of us. He's so mindful of us. He's willing to provide for us. God wants to bless us. But he says, the, the problem is fo your focus has been wrong. If your focus is on material things, what you will get, what you will gain, and all of that, and you have no interest in his kingdom, the Bible says you, that is not how you get blessed as believers. Now, believers are not imitating people in the world. 
running head and scatter like people in the world. He said, no, if you want me to intervene, if you want me to visit you, you want me to turn this around, then your focus should be my kingdom. What are you doing to advance my kingdom? Today you have prayed for the advancement of the kingdom, but physically we have to go out to win souls. How many souls have come into the kingdom through you? Those you won before, have you followed them up to the, to the point that they establish? How are they doing in the faith? Are they growing? Can you still look back in church and you see them? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, then every other thing shall be added on to you. So this morning we have prayed. But everyone, those of you online, make sure somebody join you online. Are you hear me? Look for a physical church and attend. If there's no salvation around you, look for a physical church and attend. Win souls and take them to church. You are hooking up online. Make sure someone is joining you to hook up online. Someone is blessed through you. Someone comes to know Jesus through you. Then the Bible says, if you do like this, then God will now begin to meet all your needs supernaturally. And as you obey God, I see God meet all your needs supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. But before you can start adding people to God's kingdom, you must be born again. At this point, I want you to pray after me. You are part of us this morning. You've not given life to Christ. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you now as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name. You are born again. You are part of God's own family. You look at the screen. And following the information, we'd like to reach out to you. Praise the Lord. Let's rise on our feet. We'll worship and we'll, we'll worship and after that we'll pray and we'll be done for the day. To keep your lovely face ever before my eyes this is my prayer make it my strong desire that in my secret heart know all the love No rival throne survives, and I serve only you. Oh, oh, oh how marvelous, how wonderful, and my. step out. Whatever is your heart desire, God will give to you in Jesus' mighty name. There's someone bedridden. The power of God has touched you now. Get up from that bed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone blind in one eye. You are healed. Open that eyes. Look up. 
you will see clearly in the name of jesus there's someone having severe pains in the eyes you are healed now whatever that you may just put your hand on your body right now i command every pain to leave you now i command every sickness to go now in the name of jesus the god of heaven the god of the dream may heal you now make you whole in the name of jesus arthritis go in the mighty name of jesus every tumor in your body goes now in the name of jesus every kind of discomfort goes now in the name of jesus they cast your body in upon the lord cast your cares upon the lord for the cares for you right now that issue of concern i command that body to leave you now in the name of jesus god will make a way for you in the name of jesus god will make a way for you i command doors of favor be open be blessed in the name of jesus as you step out today with the gospel i decree this will turn around in your favor that promotion you're looking for will come in the name of jesus that visa approval you're looking for will come whatever is your heart desire as you step out to promote his kingdom today to win a soul for god i decree god will meet you at the point of your needs in the precious name of jesus be blessed in jesus mighty name it is done in jesus mighty name so make sure you keep hooking up and your life will never remain the same god has blessed you let others know so they can keep watching the online morning devotion and they can keep their blessings flowing but tomorrow we'll have uh, four awesome services in salvation ministries and the team is the purpose of his power the first service by 6 a.m 6 30 a.m and the second one by 8 a.m the third by 9 30 a.m and the uh, last service for the day is by 11 a.m you can hook up and invite others to hook up your life will never remain the same but make sure today you go out win a soul and tell the person to join you as you hook up god bless you your life will never remain the same lift your hands to heaven and appreciate god giving thanks father we thank you we bless your holy name we magnify your name thank you for all you have done in jesus mighty name online money continues on monday by 7 a.m see you on monday god bless you let's say the grace grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever amen peace